Hey guys, I'm P Freak. Welcome back to Pokemon Shield. The cloud, the cloud, <laughs> the Crown Tundra. Holy crap! Sorry about that. Last time we got here over to the Crown Tundra, find a father and daughter who are apparently having a row, and find out that the father apparently has some adventure that I had planned for his daughter, but his daughter does not want to go. So we are going in her place, reluctantly enough. In this part, we are going to follow the father over to the town of Freezington, which is just sad to think about how it's just named Freezington. Again, we are not prepared for this snowy weather. I said it last time, and I'm going to say it again. Where the hell are you running off to? I guess that's the path to Freezington. There's a little cottage over there. Don't really know if you'll get many far get a really good farm up and running in this snow area. Anyways, let's go ahead and just get lost and not follow him. Oh, there's a TR over here. Cosmic power. Alright. It's interesting how we're able to just find random TRs now in these areas. I mean, I guess we can't really find any more TMs since they're all in the main game and they didn't add any new ones, so... I guess it's whatever. Don't tell me this is, don't tell me this is freezing. It is freezing 10. Oh my goodness. I feel uh, I'm disappointed. I'm just really disappointed. Yeah, your crops ain't growing in this cold weather. Hello, hello. What have we here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this town of Freezington. Change your name. I must say it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our outer way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Sure? Ah, never mind. I It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleeping corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this freezing tent specialty as a memo memento. And we got the Boatneck Sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King Bountiful Harvest. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance, hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design touch more hip, as they say. Nobody says that nowadays. If you'd like to see what the King really looked like, I suggest take a look at the statue. By, sorry, by the fields in the center of our village. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its po ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. <coughs> so again, they're allowing the same thing that was over in the Isle of Armor, where we can have our lead Pokemon run around with us, which is awesome and should be in the base game. Wait. Oh boy. Over here, Jordan. We s uh, okay. I guess we're just following this guy. Is that is that your flag over there? Why is your you know what? Whatever. Hey, Ted, what's up? You know what? I'm sorry, but there's only one person I really want with me right now, and that's my little fire bunny because it is freaking cold out here, and I need me some warmth. Oh, well, we are supposed to social distance right now, so I guess that works. What's this item over here? Oh, but there's several items. <laughs> a utility umbrella. That's a new item. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and harsh sunlight. That's unique. That's definitely unique. Like, there are some items that, prote that protect you from hail and sandstorm, but that's interesting. Like, that completely... Or at least that'll help, like, fire types against, like, rain teams and stuff like that. So that's interesting. An interesting item to have. And a nugget. Okay. That's a little less interesting. <clears throat> Spirit, you having some trouble over there? You you okay, buddy? You okay? Okay. Let's see. Statue of Pokemon. But somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Hmm. Is that really what the king looked like? Jeez. Unless the horse is the king, and then who the hell is that sitting on top of it? Also, what Pokemon is that supposed to be? That doesn't look like a Mudbray. Doesn't look... maybe? Hmm. Doesn't look like any of the horse Pokemon I'm aware of. But I guess we have to go here where Peony's flag is. 
Aha! Here you are. <coughs> this poky little place will be our lodgings. Oh, okay. Eh, well, at least it's nice and warm. But lodgings for how long? But as of this moment, there's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know. Not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Hey, I personally like this. If my hotel rooms looked like this, I would be totally fine with it. Now, enough faffing about, Jordan. Let me tell you about the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge head Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. Not to mention, a massive red tree legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great Hulk and Dot-faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we found them all. How much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows, they say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. So here's the Grand Adventure Expedition Chief Jordan. Uh, Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if two of us got went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter sitting alone in this room pining for her papa. I don't think she'd do that, sorry. Yeah, nope, not on my watch, I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down, the fort chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. <laughs> which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Yay, do we actually get to have warm clothing now? Hell yeah. Now this is more like it. Though it's a little too samey to your stuff. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nina wouldn't have to would have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. Well, at least he's caring about his daughter. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means. Just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scarves in there, just so switch up your fancier style. Oh sure, I'd, that actually sounds good to me. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony, and an old photo is attached to it. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Oh! 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 Okay. Far, far into the giant's bed lies the temple where the giant's of stone sleeps. On the temple store are strange words. Let the Mon Cheng Wan. The door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the side of the snow slide slopes lies the temple where a giant I of ice sleeps. On the temple store, Hua Tigel Iving Stall of Snow. The door remains firmly shut. Near the green meets snow. Near where the green meets snow, in the giant's bed, lies the temple where the giant of seal sleeps. On the temple's door are the strange words. Let out no wait in eel. The door remains firmly shut. On the distant pass of three point pass lies the temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door are the strange words. Wit re door I'll be end. The door remains firmly shut again. Hmm, those look awfully familiar. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roast. I said roast. They are legendary clues I've mentioned compiled for, from hours of dedicated telewatching. First off, why not have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like the King's bonds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had the name to this expedition, I'd call it... The Bonds of Loyalty? The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. Fancy. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village, though its head isn't a massive, as massive in my notes. 
strange indeed. Do you want to change back to your usual clothes? Nope, we are going to stick with this stuff. Time to investigate the legends of the surrounding crown tundra. Aha, I've just had an idea. Here, a little something to help you out. Oh, hey, free Master Ball. Nice. This is supposed to be one Ultra Mega Corker of Ball. Use it whenever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from someone I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come back. Come on back to the base camp anytime. Can't miss it. Just look for an adventure and crew flag I stuck out in front. And me by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's it. Let's Grand Venture begin. Have a smash of time out there. Okay, I'll give this guy credit. He's put a lot of work into this, and yeah, with that all said and done, I do regret saying some of the things I said about him. Real quickly, though. He mentioned that we can change our scarf color. So, yes. Let's see what scarf colors we have available. Ah, the different types. Hmm. Well, it's orange. Let's see. You know what? Yeah. Dragon sounds really cool. Let's see how the dragon one looks. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that won't do. I like that one. Alright. What the hell is this? Hey, Chief, my pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Oh, hey, listen here, Chief. I got some wisdom to impart. If you can't put your head on and have a kip, it's a pillow. Uh, it seems like it's made out of stone. Fortunately, I left my left favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on. And I found this back behind the inn. Uh, I see. I made it for one ultra mega comfy sleep tonight, that's for certain. Um, right, okay, buddy, it's made out of stone, and I have a feeling, yeah, can I have it? Come off it, you want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, chief. It's made out of stone, though. Hmm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with legendary Pokemon? Yeah, ultra mega seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then, have it. But you would better make sure you track that legend down. Don't worry, I'm planning on it. Alright, and we get the wooden crown. That's not a pillow. Oh, it's made out of wood, not stone, my bad. A mysterious object made out of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be a part of something? Hmm. Judging by the shape of this and the shape of the picture we saw in the first legendary clue... I have just a sprinkling of an idea of what we need to do. Yay, we have a whole tundra to explore. Oh, so that must be the tree that he was talking about in one of those other clues. And there's one of the temples. Okay. Oh no, maybe that's the tree. Who knows. So, I'll be honest with you guys. This actually tickles my fancy a bit more than what the other one did because legendary Pokemon hunting is one of my favorite things to do in all Pokemon games. So, with that all said and done, let's put this on here. Looks like a wooden crown could fit on top of the statue here. Do you want to try fitting it on? Yes, we do. There we go, looks as bad as ever. The wooden crown fit perfectly on the statue. Fuck. Does it want you to follow it? Well, we have nothing else better to do. Hey, who are you? Why do you have Triforces on your neck? Ooh. Hey, you kind of look like that wooden statue. It seems like as if a mysterious Pokemon wants you to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Sure. And we encounter our first legendary Pokemon. Though we don't know its name. This should be interesting. Seems to have a really high intelligence level. 
All right, and we don't even know what level it is. Hmm. What if I just throw a Pokeball at it at the beginning? Can't throw a Pokeball. What? Why did it say? Can't throw a Pokeball. It won't let its guard down. Okay, well, I guess it's time to start chucking our own balls at it. Oh, well. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, buddy. Hey, we got some experience points out of it. That's not bad. We just one-shot the thing, jeez. Seems to be saying variations of crown a lot. Who are you? I see, I totally understand exactly what he's saying. Oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus come from over here. What's this now, Chief? Where are you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin! What's this? Yeah! Mm. The frick did you do to him? Ah yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. What is going on? I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Uh, are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. Interesting. Very interesting. I am Calyrex. I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude towards you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests, year after year. However, it seems that over many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me my strength. And now I've lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal seed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I'm 21. I have a favor to ask of you. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treat me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild pandemic at the sight of me. Or mild panic. Why did I say mild pandemic? Whoops. Freudian slip, anybody? Please, kind hearted human, I beg you to help me. Sure. Why not? You jotted down the current status on Legendary Clue 1. I guess we don't have to do these in order, I guess is basically what it's saying. So that's pretty neat. Calyrex appeared once I placed the crown on the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest. Calyrex can apparently speak to humans by taking over a person's body. Peonies, in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the King of the Bountiful Harvest from the people of the village. Alright, I guess we're just going around asking people about this place. Or, about the King. Hey, do you know anything about this King of Bountiful Harvest? Oh, you just have goods for sale. Okay. Uh, ooh, lava cookies. I will definitely grab several of those. Lava cookies are nice. They're basically super cheap full heals. So, that's nice. And with the advent of Hyper Potions, actually, Moomoo Milks are better than Hyper Potions, I think. Technically, they're cheaper than Hyper Potions, even though they only restore um, 20 points less than a Hyper Potion. It used to be they only restored half, but they were a nice, cheap, mid-game item, so you didn't have to go and spend your money on Hyper Potions. Uh, a tin of beans and a big pearl. Why would we buy a big pearl? Um, we have plenty of revives for now. Okay. Let's see, what about you? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. Hey, same. That's a mood right there. <laughs> 
Welcome to Frizzington. It must have been quite a journey to get here. Kind of is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe you'd be interested in using some carrot seeds as a souvenir? Sure, why not? Oh, quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. How about a trade? You bring me eight pieces of dynamite ore and I'll give you the seeds. Oh, life is all about quid pro quo, or whatever the phrase was. Right. The King of Bountiful Harvest. I used to believe it was real, you know? I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. Fuck my king. Oh sure, my grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale, that. Well, that gives us something. Got a large leak, we're just gonna steal. Swablu! Hey, Mayor, do you know anything? Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Frizzington, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if the King were real. Huh. I think that's... Oh no, we have more villagers we can talk to over here. But more importantly... Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of Obama's nose. And... Oh, a jinx. Like, what the hell is that? And a double. Huh. I guess to get the Pokeball, we have to kind of walk around into... Crosspoint Field. Right here. And a piece of charcoal. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Ah, oh, jeez. I did not mean to run to a wild Pokemon. Smooch him! Why would we ever want to smooch him if we could just find Jinxies here? I guess smooch him is one of the newer ones. I don't know. I, I didn't check the list. I meant to check the list, like, in between. Recording these videos and recording them on the same night. But I forgot to do so. The King of Bountiful Harvest. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the the land around here so we can grow crops for a change. You've asked people of Freezington about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Time to report back to Calyrex. God, that's such a mouthful. Alright. Calyrex, are you still possessing Peony? Yes, you are. Ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? Just said you were a fairy tale. Hmm, is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I am the King of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. Wow, what a stab at the human race, though he's not wrong. This proves beyond a doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my little seed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Is that a Pokemon? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. At last, though, in ancient times, we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal seed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained, well, loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not so loyal seed. I'd be in your debt if you could speak to the head villager on my behalf. If you are able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. And he's gone. Hey, welcome back, Bionni. Yeah. Huh, Chief? With a massive noggin. Or wait, no, it's it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange. Like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to the base, get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. Oh, trust me, I know exactly what you mean. It's finally heading to be fall, and only took... It's already the 22nd of October, Jesus. Why'd I have to look that up? Of course, this released on the 22nd. Well, I thought it was gonna release midnight on the 22nd of October, but no! No, it didn't release till like 8 o'clock or something. The mayor's not home at the moment. We literally just saw him not five minutes ago. He went to have a look over at the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The fields of the giant beds are the southeast of the village. Go through the Frostpoint field and just keep going to the left. I guess when we hit green, we'll know we're there. Alright. I'm assuming they're talking about over here. Yep, Frostpoint field. And yeah, I don't know. We actually fight that, I don't know if we want to get a lot of experience points. There we go. 
I guess for the the um, Isle of Armor, it was Chansey's. For the Crown Tundra, it's Odinos. Pair of wise glasses. What's this over here? Hey, Nidoran. Nice revive, nice. Nidoran's definitely a new Pokemon for the area. Which means that the rest of the Nidos must be here as well. Alright, can you keep up? No, you can't. What was that over there? Okay, it's just gone now. Yeah, it's all green over here. That's a nice change of pace. This is a cracked pot. Gee, how fabulous. And a cryogonal. A vanilla lux. Hey, Nido King. Like I said, the other Nidos must be here as well. well. Let's go to one of these real quickly. This was mentioned in one of the clues as well. These areas of these, like, temples. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. How are things, Chief? What's that? You found some place Rooney looking? It's gotta be one of those places, you know, where the legend giants are supposed to be. Do you see a door with a mysterious right knot? I hear no one's ever been able to get it open. If that's true, I think I'd call this particular adventure. The Terrible Titans, lurking locked away. We should probably finish the other adventure, but you know, while well, it's here. Ha, huh, well, how's that grab you? Right then, Chief, I eagerly leave the rest of the research in your hands. Talk to you later. Thank you, I'd like to figure this stuff out on my own. These look awfully familiar. Hmm. Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. Let ring the piercing note that will wait, wake the giant of steel. Oh, well, we have a tiara over here. Flash cam. Okay. Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. Do we have anything in our key items? Uh, let's see. Not really. Let's see. So I think it's this one. Yeah. Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. I have no idea what it's talking about there. Hmm. I guess we'll focus on that later. For now, let's actually take a let's actually see if we can find the mayor. Sorry if you heard my microphone like being bumped or whatever. That looks like that looks weird. Uh, hey, an Espeon. That's cool. Hmm. Where the hell is the mayor? Oh, there ought to know. I fought the first one, I'm not gonna fight this one. Not really have the time. Oh, those are the cries of the Nidorans. I was like, those cries are awfully familiar, but no, those are the cries of the Nidorans. Oh! That's a interesting Pokemon to have just spawn out of nowhere. The old cemetery. Hmm. Petraberry. Nice. Let's see at this item. Sooth Bell. It had to be held by a Pokemon. They come for each time the spell comes to hold her, making it friendly. You've never gotten a Sooth Bell before? Really? And rare candy. Sooth Bells are one of the most popular Pokemon items there, because they raise the happiness of the Pokemon who's holding it even faster. I'm really surprised we've never grabbed a Sooth Bell before. I wonder. Wait a second. Isn't there a way for me to ring my... that do anything? Okay, I guess that did nothing. I thought that ring in my bike bell would actually be the reason, and the seed bell doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Okay, enough fooling around with this temple. Come on, buddy, you can move faster than that. <laughs> Let's see. That basically gets me on again. Right. Where is the mayor? We need the mayor. Not in the cemetery. An aerodactyl. That's interesting. And then over here. 
Electrizer. All right. That's an item you give to um, Electabuzz and, and then trade it in order to evolve into Electivire. Hold on. You know, all else fails. We can't always check her. Heads to the giant's bed to find the mayor. That's where I'm at. Do you have any other? Nope. So do I just... Hmm. I guess I just continue on through the giant's bed. Okay, then. Hey, need a queen. Nice. Hello. I don't think this is where we're supposed to go. I'll take the watts, but... Let's see. Let's head down here, I guess. Seriously, be all this way out here, right? There's no way I don't do it. And a soul fest, okay. Oh, god damn it. Vanilla Light, I don't want to fight you. Vanillish, whatever. I can never remember which one's Vanillish, which one's Vanilla Light, and which one's Vanilla Lux. All I just know is that everyone hates these Pokemon. Let the first Pokemon hold the never-changing stone. Oh, that one's easy! I know exactly what that one's asking. Stone Edge! Not bad. That's basically asking the first Pokemon in your party to hold... an Everstone. Do we have an Everstone? If we don't, this will be incredibly awkward. Uh, let's see. Would it be in other items? Uh, I guess. Actually, sorry, by name, it'll be easier. Let's see. Yes, we do. Perfect. There we go. Maybe we need to give the first Pokemon in our party the uh, Suze Belt. Maybe. Huh. This music's awfully familiar. Huge Pokemon statue is looking down at you. Something changes in the air. Uh, let's talk to the statue again. Rocky Power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Do you want to check it out? Um, sure. That's why the music is familiar. It's a Reggie Rock. That means that something special is going on with the Reggies here in this DLC. And I like the remix of the home music they actually have here, so that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, Reggie Rock's a legendary Pokemon. Not too surprised to actually see that it's actually here in the game. Uh, I would definitely say it before you fought this thing. Let's see. I guess we'll just keep. Actually, probably be better for us to actually like U-turn spirit out. Uh, Reggie Rock has, I think, a really high physical defense, so physical attacks aren't going to do much to it. So let's just U-turn out. I'm thinking actually, maybe a good Pokemon to switch to would be Riley. Oh, I take that back. Maybe not a good idea. Uh, maybe a good Pokemon instead would have actually been... Uh, well, it's attack fell. That's good. Well, let's do an Ice Punch, since I think most of the other attacks are actually going to kill us. Curse. Okay. That's actually completely negating the effects of the superpower. So that sucks. Hey, at least they made the puzzle relatively easy to actually get this. Before you had to use like Braille, you had to know how to read Braille in order to actually properly encounter these Pokemon back in the original games. 
Which I never really had the issue because I was born in the internet age. So, like, and I didn't play Pokemon Emerald till way after. So I was able to just look up the puzzles no problem. Anyways, I just realized this is one of the few times we actually get a legendary Pokemon battle that feels like an actual legendary Pokemon battle like in the main series games. Because most of the Pokemon battles we've had here are just easy catches. But with that all said and done, let's throw a Dusk Ball in it, since we are in a cave. I wish I had a Pokemon that I could par paralyze it, but... Am I gonna get it first try? Okay. I was low-key kind of hoping to make it just easier. Okay, that, yeah. With the attack boost, that's gonna hurt like a bitch. So we're definitely not sending our obstacles out, that's for sure. Let's send out Ray, see how she holds up. Let's try another Dust Ball. Maybe we should head back to the mainland and buy more Dust Balls. I might do that off screen. Nice. Okay. That wasn't too bad. But that does make me want to try out the uh, Registeel with the Sooth Bell, though. Alright, Regirock. Cutting edge technology was used to study the internals of this Pokemon's rock body, but nothing was found. Not even a brain or a heart. That's interesting. Well, let's crack. That's actually really interesting. Hmm. You jot down the current status on the legendary clue too. Far, far in the giant's bed lies the temple where one of giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door, there are strange words. Let the first Pokemon hold an ever changing stone. When I gave Pokemon Everstone to hold, the door opened, and I found Regirock. Oh, it's Peony again. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. You looking out for yourself out there, Chief? Come again? You've met the rock giant Regirock. Gahaha, <laughs> smashing job, Chief. Now, time to keep looking into the other giants. Keep up the good work. Alright, I'm going to quickly go over to the back to the Steel Ruins to actually see if my theory holds up with the Soothe Bell. So, give me just a second. Alright, thankfully they were nice enough to actually make a flying point right here at the beginning of the temple. So, I also did what I said I wanted to do and grab some more Dusk Balls real quick, so... Let's see if my theory holds up. So, we're gonna... Give you the Soothe Bell, then. Let's see... Soothe Bell... Alright. Let's see, is this the puzzle? Mm, no. Well, it was worth a shot. When I thought Bell, that was the only thing I could really think of. Uh, I guess we'll just take that item back. So, I'm a little perplexed on this puzzle. I'll probably look up a walkthrough real quickly to figure out exactly what that is. Or... Hmm. I mean, the only thing I could, other thing I can think of is... Like, a heal bell? Maybe I need to catch this Bronzong over here and use and see if it has heal bell. I don't know, we could try it out real quick. It's the only other thing I could really think of, so give me a second. Alright, so it turns out Bronzong can't even learn heal bell, so that's nice to know. Uh, maybe I don't know, could possibly learn it, and maybe that's the solution to the puzzle? I don't know. Uh, at least the rock one we figured out with these. But I'd say this is a good place for us to stop for now. So we learned about the King of Harvest... Whatever, the... God damn it, I can't even remember this Pokemon's name now. We learned about one legendary Pokemon that's new here to the region, the King of Bountiful Harvest. That's the name. It's Calyrex or something? Wow, I just learned it all... Remembered it all right there. We learned about the King of Bountiful Harvest and learned that people do not believe him anymore, which is why he's starting to lose strength. So now we're trying to find the mayor in order to also locate where the not-so-loyal seat is now. And we also accidentally began the second quest talking about the Reggie Ruins. Because let's be honest here, we all know that this is all going to be related to all three of the legendary golems. I mean, that's usually how it goes. They're literally kind of stuck in all their mythos together. But with that said and done, this is a good place to stop. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, follow me on all social media links. All that will be in the description. Next time, it's off to try to find the mayor even more and maybe figure out how to open this damn temple. I'll see you all then.